Hey folks, it's Steve with Prima Coffee. Today we're taking a look at Kinu's new coarse burr or pour over burr for their M47 series hand grinders. Um, one of the maybe complaints I suppose uh, that the M47 series has gotten is that it's not the best for pour over grinding. Once you start getting up past the fine sort of V60 grind, you start to see more fines uh, built into the, the grind quality that you get. You start to get a little bit of muddy flavors and muddy appearance in your brews and it just seems like it could be a little bit better. There isn't really always a good like single all-purpose burr set, so Kinu decided that they would create a new center burr, or cone burr, that gives better results in that coarse sort of range. You know, once you start getting up to maybe an 18 or 25 gram brew with a V60 or a Kalita Wave or even a Chemex, um, to give better grind quality, fewer fines and more uniform particles uh, in those coarser pour over settings. Um, so far, in our opinion, the results are great, actually. Um, they've really accomplished what they were setting out for. They've cleaned up the brew. Um, you can actually even use this burr for espresso, but there is a drawback that I'll get to. First, I'm gonna show you how to install this in your M47 hand grinder that uh, has a standard burr installed. The first thing I'm gonna do is just remove the thumb screw from the top. Uh, just unscrew it counterclockwise, pull it all the way out. Then I can pull the handle and the top nut off. Then I'm going to get rid of my grinds catch and I'm going to use a finger just to hold on to the bottom burr and keep it in place while I unscrew the adjustment ring. Once that's off, I'm just going to pull the drive shaft straight down and then I have my cone burr and my drive shaft free. I'll just remove that spring off the top and then when it comes to pulling the cone burr off, it's just pulling straight up. And now I'm ready to install my new coarse pour over burr. When I insert that back on, I just need to make sure that I'm aligning uh, the hole in the base of the burr, there's three of them, uh, with the pin on the uh, sort of burr carrier. That's pretty easy to do. You just slide it straight back down on that shaft. You can give it a twist and make sure the pin is locked in place. And that's all you need to do. So now we can kind of go in reverse and reassemble spring on first, then the drive shaft can go back up through the grinder. Uh, make sure that you insert it through the bearings. It'll push straight back up. Now I can uh, add my adjustment wheel back and I'm actually gonna screw it all the way down to zero. So until it uh, stops turning pretty much. All right, we're nice and firm there. Now I have to put the uh, drive nut and handle back on. Just note that the drive nut has a, an asymmetrical cutout that corresponds to the sort of D-shaped uh, post on top of the drive shaft. Uh, it's pretty easy to align, just stick it on in place. And then we can put the thumb screw back in. Just align that through the hole in the handle and screw it all the way down. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually set it to a pour over setting. I have it fully zeroed out, which actually um, on this grinder happens to be zero. Uh, it isn't always the case. It may not be zero. It could be somewhere close to zero. That's fine. Um, I'm going to turn this dial four full rotations from zero to Corson. And that will get me somewhere in a pour over range. You may find different, and of course it depends on your dose size, the brewer you're using, and how, or, uh, how you prefer to grind your coffee for that brewer. So I'm going to go four full rotations, which is approximately somewhere on the fine end of a V60 brew. Um, and I'll demonstrate one of the key changes that we've noticed with this burr. Um, if you've read a little bit about this burr already, you might have heard that it actually grinds slowly. Uh, it seems to feed beans a little bit more slowly. It still grinds very smoothly, but it doesn't seem to have quite as fast of a grind output. So your grinding times for the same relative settings, say I grind uh, at four full rotations with the standard burr, I might be grinding almost twice as long with this new coarse burr. So the grind quality and output uh, quality, the overall uniformity is better, but the actual grind speed is slower. I'm grinding right now and I'm noticing that I'm not feeling as much resistance as I would with that standard burr. And I might be grinding for maybe a minute, a minute and a half for this grind size and this dose of 20 grams of beans. 
which might be uh, maybe one and a half to two times uh, longer than the standard burr tuck. For espresso, you might take two minutes or three minutes to grind a full dose. And that's a pretty significant change. So we don't really recommend this for espresso brewing just because it can be kind of tiresome. It takes quite a long time to grind and at that fine setting, you are feeling quite a bit of resistance. So we do recommend it for pour over brewing. It does have good quality results. You just sort of have to accept, I suppose, that the grind time is increased. It's still very easy to grind. It uh, still feels very smooth um, thanks to Kinu's build quality in their hand grinders. Um, I don't really know personally enough about bird geometry to account for the difference, but it just seems like it doesn't quite grab as many beans um, while it's rotating. You definitely feel less resistance as you turn. Uh, again, however, we are impressed with that uniformity. When we've brewed with it, we noticed that the cup quality is cleaner. You have more flavor vibrance. You know, you have more discernible flavors uh, in your brews. And even visibly, the brew beds are not as muddy as they were with the standard burr. So definitely an improvement there. And as I'm just finishing up my dose here, you can see that it's taken a fair bit longer than the corresponding standard burr, but my grind quality is actually pretty nice. I've got a few boulders in here because it's a somewhat coarser setting, but overall it is not as kind of clogged up with fines as I might expect with the standard burr. So the, uh, again, the grind quality is a, a pretty considerable improvement. The flavor in the cup for sure is an improvement. And uh, overall we're pretty happy with the addition of this new coarse burr. And we think you will be too. So that is the new coarse or pour over burr by Kinu. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you wanna see more content like this, please like and subscribe. We post videos about product overviews and comparisons and all sorts of educational content. And as always, if you wanna see more, please come visit us at primacoffee.com. Catch you next time.